well dear students uh, today i am introducing you concept of ray optics sorry wave optics wave optics actually uh, i have noticed lot of difficulties to understand between the difference between ray optics and wave optics and i have noticed also people don't have a clear concept of wave what is wave i keep on telling in every lecture relating wave what is wave wave is simply variation of some physical quantity which transfer energy from one place to another is called wave actually we represent the wave by this diagram and this give you the idea that something moving along this curve path and that is wave no actually i have told you this is distress displacement distance graph displacement distance graph uh, of particle oscillating in case of mechanical wave like sound wave when wave travel it travel straight in class 11 equation of progressive wave is given by a sin uh, 2 pi t upon t minus x upon lambda and you are told there that the equation of a progressive wave traveling in positive x direction so when we are telling exactly it is traveling it is progressive wave traveling in positive x direction it means wave travel straight in a straight line i am speaking here my sound is going in all direction ha hmm. to so light or sound whatsoever be the wave that is uh, we must say that travel in a straight line first of all and don't have this idea that wave travel like this this create lot of confusion it is y x graph at any time t if i take time t equal to 0 then and uh, we can write it as y is equal to minus a sin 2 pi x upon lambda and this tell you that position of particle at different position when the position determined by value of x change periodically within plus a and minus a a is the true you know very well but never get confused with the concept that when they wave something goes like this you know that is simply a graph we represent the variation so in sound wave you have learned many phenomena like the standing wave beats interference also so here in class 12 we are going to study wave optics optics means the subject in which we study uh, light and effects of light that is optics now in chapter of electromagnetic wave now we know that light consist of consist of periodically varying varying electric field and magnetic field and hence light 
has wave character the light waves are electromagnetic तो लाइट हैज वेव कैरेक्टर जब डज नॉट मीन दैट लाइट ट्रेवल अलोंग कॉल पाथ हैज आई सोन देयर द वेव कैरेक्टर इज दैट इट वेयर एवर देर इज लाइट देर एग्जिस्ट टाइम वेरिंग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वेरिएशन ऑफ सिमिलर फिजिकल क्वांटिटी आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन वेरिएशन ऑफ सम फिजिकल क्वांटिटी व्हिच कीप ऑन चेंजिंग पीरियोडिकली विद डिस्टेंस एंड दिस टाइम स्पेस एंड टाइम बोथ दैट इज अ वेव कैरेक्टर नथिंग एल्स बट डोंट फोर गेट सो वी नाउ वी नो इट मैक्सवेल एंड आइंस्टीन देर आर मैनी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स विच प्रूव दैट लाइट वेव डू नॉट रिक्वायर मीडियम इलेक्ट्रिकल कैन एग्जिस्ट इन फ्री स्पेस यू नो देर इज पॉइंट चार क्यू Then electric will at this point at distance r e equal to one upon four pi epsilon zero. All right, q upon r square. So epsilon zero is the electrical permittivity of free space, empty space. Electric field, magnetic field can exist. So light wave do not require medium. We know it now. My aim here. only to make it clear but in the early time the wave character was not also known the problem is there that how the light is coming from sun to earth or what actually on our surface light uh, travel through air you know and you can assume okay but light is coming from distant stars and sun then how it is coming this was a problem in the mind of the uh, philosophers in the early time this fact was not known that light wave had wave character the wave character of light was established by different phenomena like interference diffraction polarization these known over observed so how the light is travel so first of all uh, in 1637 i think yes in 637 Descartes, they speak in French. Sorry, sorry, no sugar. French scientist, it was French scientist Rene Descartes. They they speak the person is Descartes. Actually, German scientist is German. Gave his theory. Of propagation of light, and uh, this theory was based on he said that light travels in the form of corpses. Corpuscles. This this is called corpuscular theory given by Cartes. Cartes in 1637, which says that light travel in form is uh, uh, a very small particle called corpuscle, and it travel within a straight line. Their motion unaffected by gravity, and using this theory, they proved. Uh, Snell's law, and according to this theory, you can write it yourself. I will not write here. Uh, when he derived this Snell's law, then according to this theory, 
speed of light is more in denser than rarer medium. Here, the speed of light is more in denser medium than rarer medium. It is according to Descartes' theory. Newton described his this theory. Newton described this theory in his famous book called Optics Optics ये स्पेलिंग थी इसमें ऑप्टिक्स सॉरी न्यूटन डेस्क्राइब दिस थ्योरी ऑफ डार्क डेस्कार्टिस इन ही बुक कॉल्ड ऑफ ऑप्टिक्स एंड बिकॉज ऑफ ट्रेमेंडस पॉपुलरिटी ऑफ न्यूटन बिकॉज ऑफ ट्रेमेंडस पॉपुलरिटी ऑफ न्यूटन दिस थ्योरी Uh, was attributed to Newton. K. Newton gave this theory, and I have read in some books Newton's theory, corpuscular theory of light. Why this was discarded, I will take it later on. Then, in 1678, in 1678, a uh, Dutch physicist. Christian Huygen Chris Spelling badi ajeeb hoti hai naam ki C H R I S C H R sorry In 1678, Christian Huygen gave his theory, and he proved again to uh, Schmidt's law, and proved that the speed of light in rarer medium is more than denser medium. Converse of this. This was confirmed later on in 1850 when Foucault Foucault determined the speed of light in water and found that the speed of light in water is less than air and uh, theory of Huygens was Uh, accepted on this ground in uh, 1801 the wave character was yes i am just introducing the facts in 1801 thomas young Demonstrated interference of light and measured the wavelength of light, and hence wave character of light was confirmed. But still, there was a lot of trouble because concept was there that if a wave can travel through medium only, if there is no medium, wave cannot travel. What I said. At the time, in 1801, Thomas Young proved wave character by measuring wavelength of light by doing experiment on interference of light. We will discuss later on. And in 1850, uh, Foucault. 
Foucault determined the speed of light in water and found that the speed of light in water is less than the, in air. And on the basis of this, Christian Huygen theory was accepted uh, and became more popular and still we teach it. And this theory was discarded. Remember this theory given by Descartes uh, is attributed to Newton because Newton explained his theory in his book. But basically it was this, given by this people, German scientist. Huygen was a Dutch physicist. Dutch physicist. So this is the introduction, little bit. And dear learner, please be very careful and be very sure that every wave, whatsoever is a wave, sound wave, light wave, that travel straight and not along curved path. Please. Uh, one of my students told me that when he was studying in BTEC graduation, uh, in graduation BTEC, uh, diffraction of light is explained, and uh, the teacher was telling that wave travel along curved path. When he told his friends, "Madam, tell him wrong." His, his class fellow also rejected the student, my, my student. Please be sure that every wave travel in straight line. In coming video, I will be telling you about Huygens theory and then I will do something more. So this was simply introduction to wave optics and I tried to make it clear that Okay, light, wave character light is there, but initially the concept was there, okay, if medium is there, then light can travel, and problem was there, how the light is coming from sun or from stars to earth when there is vacuum. So now we know it that light wave are electromagnetic wave, they don't require medium for their propagation. But early time, in the early time this fact was not known. And hence, I will take here just uh, introduction to Huygen theory uh, because we start from uh, this Huygen theory uh, as a history. But I think uh, we should not remain stuck to this theory. It is my opinion because I can't, I am not such a person. Uh, who is authorized to say like this? But uh, but what we know now, and that is come from everything uh, happening in science today, is due to electromagnetic wave. Our communication is through electromagnetic wave. And now we travel with the speed of light, which is three to twenty power eight meter per second. Okay, we'll meet with next video with Huygen theory.